Hello, Wayne Barron here with Dark Effects TV, here to bring you another exciting tutorial. This one right here is using Sony Vegas, sort of to go along with the rest of the videos that I've done here on Father's Day. And this video right here is, uh, well, let's take a look at it. We've got a tornado here that I filmed. This is actually from my uh, front yard here on uh, April 16, 2011, whenever the tornado came through Sanford, North Carolina. and. Uh, didn't do as much damage as it did out west um, a month later, but still a tornado nonetheless. And so in this video right here, what I'm going to do is you can see right there, you barely see it right here, was another twister that was trying to form from this cloud. Okay, you got this one right here that was about an eighth of a mile wide, and you got this little twister right here. So what I'm going to do is zoom in to that part right there and then zoom back out once it's gone. So let's go ahead and do that, shall we? Okay, in order to zoom, we must click on this little uh, box right here, Event Pan Crop. You click on it and it brings up your video inside of this little edit area. So what we want to do is we want to scroll through and find the part of the video that we want to zoom in on. Which is about right up in here. Okay, now you can create a keyframe over here, but there's really no sense in it, considering that I want to play the video and actually have it zoom in as it's playing. So, I'm going to bring it back to about here. As you can see, it's starting to come up right in this area. So you get about right here. And down here is where you create or take away your keyframes. So right here, I'm going to create a keyframe right here. And then I am going to zoom in on it. And you can see right over here as well that it's zooming in right nicely. Okay, I'm going to leave it there, and then we're going to scroll through a little bit. Uh, we can move it there. Okay, I went ahead and created another keyframe for that move, so let's minus out that keyframe. Let's go all the way back here, and let's get it about right up in here. Now let's scroll through. And you can see the twister trying to form right there. Very well defined right up in this area. So we're just going to go right on through to here and that's when it goes away. So then we will create another keyframe here. So this entire area between the first keyframe and our second keyframe will stay positioned here. So now we're going to go to here. I say about right up in here. We're going to bring our window back out again. up in here and then as you can see it will zoom in I meant zoom out to about let's scoot that just a little whoops let's scoot this just a little bit about right up in here and there we go Okay, now we click on our X right here, and then we go back here, and then we play the video. And as you can see, it scrolls right on in, or zooms right on in. And it shows our tornado right here trying to form, and then it goes away, then it zooms back out. So, that's how you do it. Just remember you got to click on this little event pan crop. Once you bring it open, then you set your keyframes. Remember, you, you move to the position that you want to move to. 
and then once you move to that then you create your keyframe if you add in a keyframe that you don't really want then you uh, click on that keyframe which selects it and then you click on the minus which deletes that keyframe and the jump between keyframes you can click here so that right there would jump from the first one okay then we we'll go to the last one so you can jump between keyframes you can jump to the very beginning and you can jump to the very end and so I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial today. This is Wayne Barron from Dark Effects TV. Do not forget to subscribe. And if you are a father out there, have a great Father's Day. And if you are a son or daughter, wish your dad a happy Father's Day. Have a rocking week. Thank you.